I want to go on the phone now to another UNC student, Bailey Hughes. She is a, a first year student there. Um, Bailey, you are just getting situated there on campus. This is week two of class. Um, tell us where you are in this lockdown and, and what's happening around you. Yes, sir. I'm currently in the student union bathroom with six other girls and the traffic guard. Um, me and my friend were at the bus stop about to go to softball practice and we saw the police riding by, the alarm started going off, and we sprinted across the street and came inside, and the traffic guard helped us lock the door and barricade the doors. We're now, we've been sitting in the bathroom stall for almost two hours now. Mm. Were you able to lock the bathroom door there, Haley? Yes, the, bath, the, bath, the bathroom door is locked and barricaded. We're, in, we're all in the big stall with the door closed, lights off, everything. And, and Bailey, obviously, um, a, a really very... Uh, anxiety-ridden situation, uh, a worrisome situation there. Are you getting anything? You said you're there with, with some sort of an official who's in the, in, the bat, in, the, in the restroom with you right now? Yes, um, one of our traffic guards. Traffic guards. And, and is the traffic guard getting anything concrete um, in terms of information from UNC police uh, directly mm -hmm. from the police that, you, that students may not be getting that can be helpful in understanding what's happening? No, sir, we're currently in the dark. We yeah. have no idea what's going on. And it's just, for it to be our most of our first weeks here, it's just very traumatizing and a lot to go through right now, especially with me coming from a small town. It's just, it's just a lot, and it's a lot for all of us. Mm -hmm. Bailey, where is home for you? What town are you from? Um, I'm from Williamston, North Carolina, near Greenville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bailey, we can hear in your voice, uh, you know, it, uh, the fear, the, the, the lowering of your voice. Is that uh, kind of how all of you are just in there? Are you trying to be quiet? Are you able to get on uh, social media? Are you having sporadic service? Are you limited um, in your communication as to what's happening? There's probably no windows if you're in a bathroom. There, there's no windows. We're completely in the dark. Everyone's in here whispering on their phones, trying to get as many updates as possible. but. It's very traumatizing and scary. When it first happened, I know me as well as a couple of the other girls were very upset just with everything that's going on. We're just trying to stay as calm as possible. Yeah, we understand that entirely. And unfortunately, you're getting the Alert Carolinas. We're getting uh, the information directly from UNC police as well. And unfortunately, there's not a lot uh, to, to share right now with, with, with you, Bailey, or with our viewers in terms of a, a resolution and an end point to this right now. They're saying the lockdown continues, the search for the assailant continues, they've shared this, this photograph. Um, but, but Bailey, the one thing that we can add, you obviously can't watch our coverage because you're there in that restroom at the Student Union, but we are seeing in our live feed from our crews across campus that at least on South Campus right now, we are seeing some students walking around. It appears that they are now clearing buildings um, where this uh, incident unfolded with, uh, with, with this assailant, a person described as an assailant, um, it looks like they're, they're clearing those buildings right now. So, so Bailey, I hope that comes as some comfort to you that some parts of campus, um, we're seeing students walking around with their backpacks and, and they appear to be able to go on their way um, back to their dorms. So um, obviously the, we don't have any indication that the lockdown's lifted there at the student union. We're just seeing a couple of uh, students embracing right there, uh, what appear to be students, two people, uh, two, two young women uh, embracing there as they're walking across the street. But um, Bailey, I hope that is helpful to you in understanding that at least in some parts of campus, um, they are clearing buildings right now. Yes, sir, it is. I just hope we're next and I hope everything is, is cleared up pretty soon because it's just a lot for all of us right now. Yeah, we understand that. And I can't imagine how traumatizing this must be. We heard the same thing from a foreign exchange student from Germany uh, who was saying, how can I come back to campus tomorrow after going through something like this today, uh, especially coming from Europe where he said they just don't have a lot of issues with, with gun violence. So uh, this is certainly something that I know that the school is gonna have to address and that it's going to be something that really sets the tone now for the whole year for so many people at UNC Chapel Hill. So uh, we hope that you will get the all clear to be able to leave safely from that bathroom where you and you said there's six total in there um, one, two, three, four, five. There's eight of us. 
eight of you sheltering in a bathroom uh, headed to softball practice, as you were saying, and day six of classes here for your freshman year, just not how you wanted to start your year uh, at all. And this is not a drill for so many people, a very scary situation unfolding. So, you know, we're watching it with you, a lot of thoughts with all of you all at UNC Chapel Hill. And I know your families are concerned and this is gonna be really just something that is gonna have to be with you for some time. So uh, please stay in touch with us here and uh, let us know if, if there's anything more that you would like to share with us and going forward, you know, if there's anything you would like us to, to help get out to the public. We appreciate you talking to us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're thinking about you, Bailey, and uh, we, we right. hope that uh, things resolve themselves very quickly. Thank Bailey you. Hughes.